shoulder, Legionnaires, Rykon here, and welcome back to Magicalism. We are here with Luna Crowley, and we are in the Forge of Wonders. In the last, we managed to make a trade for a number of good items, and there are more items here that we want. However, we're going to have to build up some wealth to be able to trade for them. Ideally, we want to get something that's going to allow us to store more things on us. One of the dimensional bags that are sold here. That's what we're after. So, Valzane, we will return with more fruit. As it would seem, fruit is a hot commodity here. Yes, so we've actually dropped off a few of our things here. Things that we've actually traded for. The Cavalry Saber and the Crowbar. And uh, we're going to make our way back out into the woods to see what we can find. This whole process, however, is incredibly dangerous. Let me remind you that all of these forge born here and these... Uh, well, Forgeborn and the Forge workers, mind you, yes, um, they operate on an interesting kind of AI where if they get aggressive, they get really aggressive and they will see us as a threat as well. So we have to be very careful around here because if they do, we just need to get out. Thankfully, we have our boots of escaping on us where we can teleport to a random, like, not random dimension hopefully not a random dimension but rather a random location nearby i'm not sure exactly how far it takes us but it's going to be a decent ways so we're going to head back out into the woods we kind of went off in this direction in the last we'll just go a little bit further out and we're going to try and see if we can collect a whole heap of goodies at least that's the plan it's probably going to be easiest for us to turn on the auto harvest feature yeah so we've got obviously a nice bush here i'm gonna see if i can get this auto turned on okay so i've got it turned on at the moment we harvest blackberries nice okay so it just works so what we are looking for are trees and bushes that have fruit of any kind i think we've got another kind over here yep we've got some raspberries we're getting seeds at the same time which is fantastic i think i can see some plums over here so let's start to make our way over towards them. Um, we will be harvesting other kinds of bushes as well as we're making our way past them. But yeah, this is definitely the fastest way for us to do this. Just moving throughout the forest, picking what we can. Um, the underbrush areas we are going to be picking as well. But yeah, this is, this is how we are going to try and make a little bit of money here. Well, have something worthwhile of, of trading. <laughs> Uh, we're going to do this until our inventory is full, and then we'll see how much value we can get for all of this. We do have a demon spiderling out here, though, so we're probably going to have to deal with that before we do any kind of uh, skipping of time. Let's see, a giant rattlesnake as well. We are actually seeing forge workers too, so it's maybe a little bit close to have any kind of aggressive creature. So if this demon spiderling is out here, and it looks like there's a few of them, we might have to try and take them out, lest they get closer to this place. So, let's see if we can kind of lure them over in this direction. Oh, well, you know what? We've got uh, peaches down here anyway. You can see that we're going through all of those bushes as we walk past. And a moral mushroom. Fresh. Nice. We'll take you. Um, I think we just took one. Let's take them all. Um... <laughs> Okay, one at a time then. That's fine. Alright, do we have your attention, demon spiders? Because we're kind of on the other side of this forest now. You know what? They don't seem to be paying us too much attention, really. I'm not sure how good their eyesight is, but there is fruit there. There's also fruit up here, though, so let's go for that first. Yeah, if we don't have to spend mana, if we don't have to waste resources, then uh, yeah, let's avoid it if we can. Grab all of those, head back up here. Yep, demon spiderlings just totally chilling out. The thing is though, these are spiderlings. What if they were spiders? How much worse would they be? And yeah, that's us, that's us tapped out at the stage. So what we need to try and do is head back down, but head back down in such a way that we don't um, make anything aggressive. And also at the same time, trying to avoid harvesting much more because it's just going to stay on the ground otherwise okay easy does it luna just find our way through here demon spiderlings are to the north 
that's fine. And we are harvesting some things. We're gonna have to miss out on that uh, salsify. I'm not even sure if I was saying that remotely correctly. I think at this angle here, this is going to lead us directly down to where we want to go. Yep, right by the river. Okay, so, around we go. Easy enough. Keeping them all nice and neutral towards us for now. We're actually getting quite warm in the summer sun. In this stage, um, we're just going to grab everything, move it out into the light here, and we'll see if we can have a chat to Valzane, showing what we've got. And we've got quite a bit. The question is, will it be enough? Let's find out together. Okay, so at the moment we have 2,000 value, which is pretty decent. It's not enough for the greater dimensional tool belt, that is rather expensive, we'd have to do a few more runs to be able to get anything like that. It's also not enough for the lesser dimensional bag, which is 3,000, so it's going to be an extra 1,000 for us to be able to afford that. I kind of do want to have a look at that though. That's the tourist guide, <laughs> my bad, let's try that again. Yes, lesser dimensional bag, this is a bag that can contain more than it should. The bag magically reduces the weight of its contents and expands less than the amount of the stuff that you've put in. It takes a few words and hand waving to take an item out. Okay, how much can it take though? Because obviously we're looking at the weight of this and the volume, that's totally cool. But yeah, how much can we kind of get out of that? Let's see. Total capacity is 40 and weight 50. Okay, that's not bad. Ah, and they spoil slower. Items in this pocket weigh 70% of their original weight. And the pocket expands 70% of the rate of volume inside. Pretty good. Pretty good. I mean, having that and the tool, the tool belt would be fantastic. You know what? I think that's what we're going to kind of try and shoot for here. It's going to take a lot of harvesting, though. Um... Let's just have a look at the Greater Dimensional Tool Belt to see how that kind of stacks up. So that is going to be H here. Heavy duty workman's belt that fits around your waist, covered in easy to access pouches. Like all dimensional spaces, they hold far more than they should be able to with substantial weight reduction. How much though, is the question. Let's see. Um, okay, total capacity, 20 liters, 48 kgs, four pockets. Okay. Right. I see. Hang on, that's already got things in it. Right. Because he must be wearing it. I'm assuming that's the case. The, yeah, there's a... Okay, so this is quite good. It can carry a lot of stuff. <laughs> From, from what we can see, it can take quite a lot. I, can't, I kinda do want both. I want both, that would be nice. Uh, I know this is kind of made up of smaller pouches. And yeah, the volume and weight of this is just so small. You know what? I think this is what we're gonna save for. We're gonna need to do a fair bit more harvesting, but we can totally do that. So I'm just going to drop everything else we've got. We're going to go back out again. And should we have no trouble, I'll meet you back here once we've done some more gathering. We are so tantalizingly close. We do have the Bracer of Defense in the trade as well. You might be able to hear from the sound effects that it is now night. And walking around that forest at night isn't exactly my idea of a, of a good time. We're close, but no cigar we'd still have to do a whole lot more harvesting to be able to get enough and believe me i'm tempted to do it it is just going to be dangerous we've uh, we've gone through a lot of what's here and um it is starting to stack up it really is starting to stack up but yeah we're gonna need a lot more so luna i think we're gonna have to go out with that torch of ours and see if we can brave the forest at night all right. Okay, so we're finally here. We have enough and we actually have a little extra. So what I've done is I've gone and selected the greater dimensional tool belt and 
we have enough to get another bracer of defense. Now, I'm pretty sure that the one bracer that we have is only on one arm. We can probably have a look here if we just examine it. Um, so, yeah, strapped either arm. So we should be able to have this on both arms, theoretically. Yeah. A light aura to reduce the damage you take. Can we wear two? Who knows? Who knows? There is also the lesser bracer of lightning that we could go for that that is also an option i'm not sure what that would do for us exactly uh light but extremely sturdy steel bracer with an ornate bundle of lightning bolts engraved on top okay it uh it reduces the electrical damage we take as well as being able to release a jolt spell three times a day kind of like that kind of like that yeah, I mean, it's decent protection as well, if we're looking at that. Um, cast Jolt at level 15. Okay. You know what? Sure, I think we'll go for that instead of the Bracer, actually, now that I think about it. So let's go for one of these lesser Bracers of Lightning as well. That takes us... We have 200 left, so yeah, I don't have to trade as much now, which is kind of nice, because we were trading away one of our mana flasks, so we'll go ahead and give that back. We'll give our caffeinated chewing gum back. Let's see, is there anything else that we can kind of get away with here? Yep, take our multivitamins back, and then everything else, you know what, 200? Is there anything that we want from you that's worth 200? I doubt it, but I'm going to have a quick look. There really isn't, so what I'm going to do is just leave some things here. I don't know when we'll be back next, so I'm honestly thinking the seeds would be the best thing to leave because they're not gonna go off. So I can just knock back some of these seeds until we have, yeah, there we go, $3 extra credit. And so we're gonna go ahead, accept the trade. We're going to wear the greater dimensional tool belt for now, and uh, we'll say goodbye. We did it, it is, 12.20 at the moment, but we've got ourselves our greater dimensional tool belt, and looking over here, we do have some other things on the ground that we're going to have to try and pick up. Uh, I also just want to go through this and make sure that we are dropping off. Why do I have all of those back? Why do I have all these books back? Did you trade these back to me to try and make up the difference? I think you did. What the hell? Okay. Yeah, I think... <laughs> Thank you, Valzane. I, I appreciate that, but uh, cool, I suppose. Sure. <laughs> I, I, I'm, yeah, I don't know how that happened, but yeah, we're going to go ahead. Oh, also, I did figure out how we can uh, drop things faster as well. I know I, it's been a while and I should really know this by now, but we can just hit tab. Yeah, and then select the whole thing. Yeah. It's little things that you miss out on sometimes. So over here, we definitely want to grab our granola, our flotation vest, hammer, crowbar, cavalry saber. Uh, we see we have no problem picking these things up at the moment. Uh, we're going to take the cornmeal, uh, crystallized mana, the long strings, and those crystals. Yes. Okay. Ignore them for now. All right. We should be good here. So we are still wearing a tool belt, correct? Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unload that tool belt ignore okay so we put all of those back into our inventory they should theoretically go into the greater dimensional tool belt and i think they have the cavalry saber is in there the cudgel is in there the gallon jug is in there we've got a lot of things in there currently we can see that the total volume that we can carry is 85 and remember when things go into the greater dimensional tool belt they are they don't weigh as much and we might even be able to stick longer things in there as well because we've, we've managed to fit the cavalry saber onto or into it so yeah we've got that going for us as well uh so we are going to take off this tool belt for now so yeah we're going to hold on to it because we can still use it in crafting we will store it in the greater dimensional tool belt uh oh no we don't want to throw it we tuck your lesser bracing of lightning into the greater. That was my bad. Did not mean to do that. Let me go ahead and put that back on. Um, actually, I don't even know if we were wearing it to begin with. So I think we are going to have to activate. You need to unwield your tool belt before using it. Let's just let's just drop the tool belt for the for the time being. Um, can we pick you back up? Oh, let's see. Yes. 
easy as that. Uh, so we have the Bracer of Lesser Defense on. Let's go into this. We're going to uh, activate it. We're going to draw out that one there, and we're going to wear that. And that's going on our other arm. Our arms will be a little bit more encumbered now. Our left arm is like extra encumbered. Why is that? Let's have a look. So, why do we have them both on the left arm? <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay, the elbow pads might cause an issue now as well. So we can probably get away with taking the elbow pads off, uh, which we will do, pair of elbow pads. And um, I want to see if I can change which side we are wearing the bracer on. Yeah, okay, so it's up the top here. Um, I'm going to take you off. I... I'm not sure about swapping sides with it. I just, I kind of, I guess I assumed it would go onto something. Yeah, we can, we can more than likely just go into it here. Change side. That's what we want to do. Okay, looking better. Okay, left arm, right arm, the same amount. Fantastic. That's really, really good. Uh, what I want to do next is try and unload our military rucksack. Um, we will probably drop some things, potentially. Let's see. No, we don't. So all of the things that we were carrying in that military rucksack of ours are now fitting within the greater dimensional tool belt. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of stuff that we've got in there. And that means we can probably take off the rucksack and put it in there as well. So I'm going to attempt to do that. Can we fit you? Dispo right, we've got the flotation vest in our hand. Um... Yeah, I guess, okay, it is too big. That's fine. We'll go ahead and wear it for now. Because there's nothing in it, it shouldn't really be taking up that much space for us. I would have to assume. So let's just have a look at our torso encumbrance here. It is 45 still. Um, we will be getting some encumbrance from this. Only eight. Ah, the SWAT armor. Okay. So what we need to kind of try and do here is get as many things as we can into into our dimensional tool belt so I'm actually going to go and just drop our rucksack for now and we will try and unload the SWAT armor okay yep so there is there is most certainly a limit to what we can put in there it would seem store an inventory I mean I'll see if we can just store an inventory okay everything's still with us and the SWAT armor is nearly empty We've only got four items left in there right now. Yeah, okay. So, that works. Our torso encumbrance is next to nothing. We'll go ahead and wear this once again. Okay, we've just got some ammunition in our hands, so we'll just unwield that for now and store that in the inventory. Okay, so, <laughs> we kind of have the containers working out now, it would seem. Looking at this, our volume is looking really, really good. Weight is also looking super nice. And I'm assuming that we have a great, yep, a great many things inside of here. Fantastic. That's really bloody good. Our torso encumbrance has popped back up again. I think even when it's empty, this military rucksack is still, yeah, it's giving us 18 encumbrance at the moment. 16 from the SWAT armor. Well, we don't have to have as big of a bag in the future. So we got that going for us. We're just going to leave these other bits and pieces here as we make our way outside. We're actually going to turn off our light just while we're traveling through this area for safety's sake. Making our way along here, we are going to start to make our way back home. Yeah, I do want to try and charge this with crystallized mana to begin with. Uh, I think we might have to unload you. We can't unload you either. Oh, it's just going to charge at the start of the day. It's just kind of like our escape boots. It'll charge with three charges at morning, more than likely. Um, we've got a whole lot of vinegar on us, I've just noticed now. Um, yeah, and so that would have been another thing that was traded to us by <laughs> the Forge Master. Well, thanks, I suppose. So from this point on, we are going to try and make it back to our little home. Yeah, got a bit of a walk ahead of us. It is late at night. We're feeling all right. We've got a zombie off towards the uh, southwest there. We'll just kind of go down by the farm for now. A lot of the 
stuff here we can harvest. That's a lot of corn, should we wish to take it. But we're kind of okay for food at the, the current time. Will be something that we'll look into, that's for sure. And so from here, we're just going to head pretty much straight down. We might have to veer off towards the east a little bit, just because uh, there have been hordes wandering in the area. It's one lone zombie, we'll leave it be. Oh yeah, there's a lot there. And this group seemed to be hovering around the remains of people. Feral humans, lots of them. So we don't have to fight them. Sure, we do have our wonder fireballs, but uh, best save that for when we actually need to use it. Fighting there isn't going to give us anything extra. Nothing that we want. Well, we can assume that. They might have been magicians for all we know. Hmm. I think the next thing for us with uh, Luna is going to be trying to explore the surrounding areas a little bit more. We did get to see, uh, you know, a bit more of the forest just while we were kind of scavenging, looking for things. There's a little bit of a swamp up here to the northeast, but I really do want to see more of the place. Weirdly enough, jumping on top of the Forge of Wonders would probably be the best way to see that, but getting on top of it, not so easy. Yeah, <laughs> believe it or not. Even like the cabin, one of the cabins might be, you know, an okay place for us to see from. Or alternatively, we just try and make our way up towards this road here and hope that there might be a tower or or even just a nice big building for us to climb on top of. But that's most certainly going to be a tomorrow thing for us. Tonight, we need to make our way back home and should we not run into any trouble, I'll see you once we arrive back at that home. Okay, we are ready to go for a little bit of a dive. So into the water we go unhappy about getting soaking wet but I believe we do have a towel oh I hope we do we might have actually left the towel back no we've got it fantastic oh wait what what a ring of dexterity why do we have a ring of dexterity okay we've definitely been traded some extra things here some eagle eyed of you might have noticed that but I didn't you know what I know what it is now. The reason why the Greater Dimensional Tool Belt was as, as expensive as it was, was because of all the things that were in it. We got everything that was in that Greater Dimensional Tool Belt, and I think it might have actually been one that Valzane was wearing. And that's why we've got this Ring of Dexterity. Holy crap. And that's why we got the gallon jug, because that was also in there, and the same thing with all of the books, that's why we got all of those, because they were inside holy crap we've got a ring of dexterity <laughs> okay so i imagine it does just that a golden ring that makes you surprisingly more agile while you wear it so our dexterity at the moment is 12. let's go ahead and slip this ring on okay we put it on yep plus three plus three to our dexterity our dexterity is now 15 which means our dodge would be really good if we were light. So if we took off a few things, oh, we're suffering from weakness at the moment. Yeah, and it could be from our level of activity, possibly. Hmm, okay, but goddamn, a ring of dexterity. That is nice. Let's try to see if there's anything that we want to burn up here. Not necessarily. <laughs> Um, even the vinegar is useful for us. A pair of elbow pads, you never know, we might need them again in the future. So for now, let's just duck back downstairs. I do think it's going to be beneficial for us to burn something though. We'll start up our torch and we'll just go grab an article of clothing, grab some briefs, just clamber up the top and just set a little fire. It's how we stay happy. And we'll go ahead and drop that off into there. Uh, let's see, clothing just like so and we will start a fire we need a little bit more let's extinguish that bad boy and try again all right we will get it eventually there's nothing there to light i guess we burnt it up pretty quickly okay all right <laughs> we're gonna need a little bit more than just that and that's totally fair okay we'll bring uh boxer shorts and one of the damaged camisoles 
that should do the trick. And we'll drop them both in there because they'll take a little bit longer to burn. Try again. There we go. We happily light that fire. Let's go and use that towel of ours to dry off and we should be feeling, well, neutral. Yeah, the weariness is a little bit concerning. Um, I want to probably take some multivitamins just to uh, see if that helps with that. But yeah, weakness, not amazing. Oh, torso is so encumbered. Let's go ahead and take off the flotation vest for now. Heading back down inside, we aren't exactly tired yet. And I'm thinking we're probably going to want to try and do a little bit more reading before we go to sleep. And we are wanting to try and see if we can get this spell, the gate, to work. And so we are going to read a little bit more of that. Difficulty is 15. We've got it on level 4 at the moment. I think we're just going to try and go until we get a spell level or until we get really tired. We might be working throughout most of the night here. I'll see you once we gain a level or once we're heading to bed. Nice. Okay, well, it is 4.30 in the morning. We've now just got to very hungry. Uh, we gained a level in uh, Spellcraft and Translocate Self. So our Spellcraft is now level 6, which means that we can get better spells in general. All of our spells, the cap of them increases. And they includes magic missile whether or not we can cast this translocate self yet uh no still too difficult we are we are going to have to get it maybe to level 15 for us to be able to do it properly maybe i mean hmm torn skin spell level six at the moment okay all right but the difficulty was four so did we have to get it to four to be able to cast it no clairvoyance we only have spell level one difficulty four yeah so, not sure exactly what we're going to have to get it to. It could be that, you know, our spellcraft is just not high enough yet. But this is going to help us improve that. Yeah, it doesn't take as much experience as I would have thought to get, you know, to each level. Yeah. Alright, well, let's kind of start our day. It's going to be a little bit of a weird day for us today. Um, we've still got granola, so I think we're going to start off just by having a munch on that. Probably until we are fed this time. But hey, we've got some strawberries left over. A little bit more. And we'll go ahead and knock back some strawberries just while we're here. Satisfied? Fantastic. And we've got some clean water, so we'll have some of that. Slaked as well. That is brilliant. Let's see. Can we cook up some water while we are here? You know what? We should probably make some tea. Because we are going to be a little bit more tired today. So we're going to make four things of black tea. Just using some of the loose leaves and we'll pour that into our thermos. Nice. So that should keep us going throughout today. Hmm. What do we want to drop off? Well, I think we're going to get rid of the tool belt for now. So we'll drop that with the rest of the clothing that we've got in here. Um, as for food, we've got cornmeal and a few other bits and pieces that we can probably drop off. The gallon jug of vinegar included in that. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of vinegar. We'll keep the strawberries on us. And as for everything else, the long strings, they can probably just go down the bottom. Um, armor goes in this one over here, so we'll go and drop our... Let's see, elbow pads off in there for now. And I am tempted to drop off the military rucksack, but I do realize that we need to have something still. And we don't have a smaller... Well, we do have the dive bags. The dive bag might be better for us. Let's just kind of compare the two if we can. Okay, so having a look at the dive bag, when full, it has a encumbrance of 30. Okay, all right. Uh, generally though, I feel like it is gonna be better for us. It performs well, even when soaking wet. It does actually give us better protection than the military rucksack does as well. So I, I feel like in general, it's gonna be better for us. Yeah, so what we're going to do is unload the rucksack. We're going to go and drop it down into here, and we are going to wear the dive bag. And we'll see how we're looking after that. Yep, only 25 on our torso. That is a lot better. I will take that, thank you. And the volume that we can store is still a whole heap. And um, yeah, ideally, we'll only use that when we have to. Hopefully, most things will go into our greater dimensional tool belt, which, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's got a lot of good items in there for us. 
It's got a, it's got our everything pretty much. <laughs> okay, well, that's that. I am happy. We're going to go downstairs real quick just to drop off the long strings. And what we can do is pretty much drop any of that stuff just on the floor because it will get put away. The medical tape, that can go away as well. Same thing with the rag. We're going to keep the crystallized mana and these small mana crystals on us. If we hit shift O, we should sort out our loot just fine. Heading back up here, we're going to do the same thing. Sort out that loot. Okay, there we go. And uh, this was everything else that we left behind, but it just got shifted somewhere. So I have no idea where that went. Yeah, we've got a hacksaw here. Well, we can take the hacksaw now. The hacksaw can live in our tool belt, and it is. Wonderful. Okay, so we are tired now, and it's five o'clock in the morning. Honestly, I think I think we kind of need to try and reset the sleep schedule again. So we're probably just going to spend the day reading, and then tomorrow we're going to go out and explore. And I kind of want to go north here to try and see if we can get a bit more of a view of the forest, as long as we can get elevated. That'll be the plan. So for now, we read. Fantastic, just like that, we've got ourselves another level. We are very hungry. We're just gonna have our tea for now to kind of get us hydrated and ideally not as tired, but uh, it's gonna be a long day. We're gonna be trying to push through that tiredness for as long as we can. All right, it is past midday. We are now level seven in spellcrafting and we have our other level in translocate self. And having a look at it, we can actually do it now, but it has an 81% chance of failure. So I do think that it's going to be a lot better for us to um, learn more first before we try and cast this. We do not want a repeat of our grandfather. And I think we might need to attune to the other gate first. Yeah. So before we go any further, let's make ourselves some food. Um, we've got some strawberries just to kind of like tempt us for now but we want to have some proper food as well so jumping into this having a look what do we want to make Ooh, spaghetti we could make some nice spaghetti unfortunately the fiddleheads that we have are off that's all right you know what let's go for some spaghetti it's going to take us uh, 21 minutes to get that whipped up and we've memorized the recipe as well and we'll just go ahead and knock that back for now we feel pretty happy after that Okay, I think it's going to be good for us to have some snack foods too. So we could just make some more granola actually. Yeah, six portions. That's pretty good. Okay, we'll go ahead and whip that up. We will use the oatmeal for that and the forest honey. And that should be quite the meal for us. Lovely. We'll go ahead and keep a hold of that. Still tired. I want to do a little bit more reading. Let's close that up for now. Get nice and cozy on the bed. And... How's that weakness? It's gone. We're no longer weak. I like that, and I really like that dexterity. Look at our dodge now, 6.4, and that's only going to get better as we study, uh, you know, dodging further. Mm, we're a speedy one, we are. Okay, let's do this thing. Okay, right. Oh, that took a while longer, seven hours this time, but we did get another level in Translocate Self. And having a look at that now, we're down to 69% chance of a failure. And honestly, I feel like if we get a failure, it's just going to be the spell failing. Uh, so that's not the end of the world for us. We don't waste mana. Nothing else happens there. Um, I do really want to cast that today. Uh, we're going to go ahead and knock back this uh, T have some of that granola until we're feeling nice and satisfied. 7.30. Can we cast it yet? I'm just intrigued. Impeded by gloves and requires mobility. We should have much better mobility now. Also, quick helps with our mobility in general. Um, let's see. Our hands, there is nothing encumbering them, so we should be good to go. Can we do this thing or not? You need your hands free to cast a spell. What are we holding on to? The flotation vest. Of course we are. Um, okay. <laughs> go ahead and store that in our inventory. And it has to go into the dive bag. Okay. All right. Well, let's kind of focus if we can and see if it will let us cast it. We lose concentration. Okay. But we tried. Let's try again. Translocate self. All right. We are gaining a little bit of experience each time. Again, nothing. All right. Well, this is one way to level. 
I mean, it's not costing us any... Oh, whoa, it worked. Uh, okay. Um, oh boy. I wasn't expecting it to work. Uh, choose translocator home. Yeah, I mean, we named it home. This is a while back. Let's see if this thing worked. Holy crap. It worked. It worked. Um, deactivate. No, we don't want to deactivate this translocator. It bloody worked. And that makes me think, with our grandfather trying to cast that, he was trying to go somewhere else, but he ended up back here. Something blocked him. So maybe this one was safe, but maybe wherever he went before he ended up here was something else entirely different. Okay. Where are we seeing those soap bars? <laughs> I'm just intrigued. Uh, where the hell were they? Because it says you see 20 soap bars and two toothbrushes and three more items. I don't know. Um, can this locator gate move? It feels really heavy. It can. It can move. So we can pull it. It's just very heavy. Uh, we're going to take an aspirin after just pulling a muscle there. But we bloody made it through this thing. Um, so, this is something I think that we can make eventually. Amazing that we can kind of just come straight back to here. I wonder if we can deactivate, if we can reactivate it. That makes me nervous. I don't want to break this thing, because this is a way for us to quickly get back to close to home, you know? Yeah, kind of amazed by that, really. God damn. And, and I'm just thinking about it now. The thing is, casting the spell does take a long time. It takes a, a whole ass minute. So this isn't something that we can cast in the middle of combat. If we close ourselves behind a door and like try to barricade it, we might have enough time to use this to get away. So it's, it's, it's a great spell. But I think it also makes Luna incredibly nervous as well because um, that's what undid her grandfather. But yeah, bloody hell, we're, we're back here. Back in this space. Hot oh, damn. Well, you know what? While we're here, we're going to do a quick casting of clairvoyance just to see if there is anything else, and there isn't. We sense all around us nothing hidden in that space down there. Well, bloody well. 7.40pm, we've still got our torch lit. I think what we're going to do is make our way back home. Hang on, is that still... Wow, the fire is still burning. Let's just kind of hang out here for a little bit. Yeah, not bad. That will help improve our mood. Our temperature is slowly starting to rise while sitting next to this thing. But Luna, I, I, I'm pretty happy with everything that we've accomplished so far today. Um, the Bracer of Lightning has started to build up one charge and I'm kind of wanting to test that out actually um let's see do we have anything with L no I don't think we do so I'm gonna make this L yeah I kind of want to try and see if we can find someone now yep we've got a tough zombie okay we've got two tough zombies all right well our hands are free I actually want to wield our wand of fireball because we can cast through that and um, let's have a look at activating this thing. Activate you. Okay. Uh, achievement complete. Spell level 15. Oh, because we cast a spell that was level 15. Yeah. Oh, I see. It kind of goes out like this in a fan. Damn, is that wasted? I think it will be. Stop casting spell. No. <clears throat> Damn, if we could just wait for them to show up now. But unfortunately, we can't pass time in here. Yeah. Damn it. That is, that, that's frustrating. Um, so yeah, we can't cast it any further than this. It's going to look cool though. Damage 65. Ugh. You know what? I'm going to stop just to see if we keep the charge. Uh, and no, we don't. No, we don't. Okay. Well, that's that, I suppose. We're just going to have to blast these suckers down. And we can totally do that. So let's load up our magic missile and start flinging it in towards them. We've got this on level 12 at the moment. Slamming into it as we do. 
Oh, wow. <laughs> you got there real quick, huh? We're gonna start running back. It's not rollerblades, but it's enough to do it. And um, I want to make sure that we put that wand away. Just into the tool belt, sure. Did any of you have anything interesting? A mop. Hmm, a useful tool. You know what, we're actually going to take a mop back with us, just because um, it can actually be quite a useful tool for us. If we spill anything back at home, we want to be able to clean it up. Okay, so heading back on over here, let's go wear that flotation vest, dive into that deep old water, and swim across to home. Ah, uh, new home, that is. Take off that vest, and use that towel. Nice and dry inside the, the uh, bag. It's doing its thing. Nice and tired, we should be able to have ourselves a proper sleep. And uh, I gotta think we're more than likely gonna have um, a spill in here, so I'm just gonna go drop the mop there. Clamber over towards our bed, checking our statuses. In general, we seem to be okay, so let's try and sleep. And we fall asleep right away. We're probably gonna be getting up quite early in the morning. I'm alright with that. We're going to make sure that we have ourselves a proper breakfast before we head out into the world. Ah, uh, oh, I was going to say, I probably should have bandaged up our head a little bit more, but it seems to be fine now. Yeah, that last little bit of damage has healed on up. Let's light that torch of ours, speak the words of magic into it, pop on down here, eat the granola, as you do, and then let's make ourselves something nice for breakfast to get started for the day. What do we want to make? Deluxe oatmeal. I know it's more oats, but you know it could be could be worse than that. All right, thirty six minutes. Make a whole heap of that. Start to uh, knock that on back until we get satisfied. It's gonna be a whole heap. Yep. We'll take what's left. I do want to make some more tea for us during the day, so let's jump into our drinks. Maybe we could go for some green tea today. Hmm. I mean, it's it's effectively exactly the same. The vitamins that we're getting is the same. Sweetened tea will give us a little bit more calories, I think. Yeah, you know what? We're going to go for sweetened tea. Four lots of that forest honey, and we'll pour that into our thermos. And that will actually give us more calories, and I think it's going to be good for us to keep a little bit of a balance with that. Sweetened tea, how much are you going to give us? Um, 84. Nice, and still a decent level of quenching. Good, good, good. I kind of want to make some clean water just to get started, though. Uh, and that's water that we're just going to end up leaving here. So, let's see. Clean water. We'll just make four lots of that, and we'll pour it into any container around here. A casserole pot. Lovely. <laughs> okay, clean water. We'll go ahead and start to just slurp you on back. And we'll leave the rest there. Satisfied, slaked, feeling good. Are we ready to to head out into the world? I think we are. So, first of all, let's make sure that we have everything. I'm not seeing, oh, I was going to say, I'm not seeing the crowbar, but here it is. Yep, we've got that with us. I don't think we're going to need the cudgel anymore. So, we're going to go ahead and drop our trusty cudgel over there for now. And I want to give our cavalry saber the new title of C, because, um, yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be rocking that if something gets close to us, and we should be okay with it. Gotta think so. Right, so we've got a little bit of oatmeal. Um, I probably want to take a little bit more food with us, just because I'm unsure with what we're gonna be doing along the way. Hmm. Do we have anything to go? I wonder. We've got evaporated milk that we could just take, but that's not really a meal, is it? Now, no. No, it isn't. Um, pickled veggies don't really give us all that much. We could just take some cereal. Yeah. Take a box of cereal with us. <laughs> okay, let's do that. All right, we've got one bowl with us, or rather, one box of cereal to snack on while we're out and about. I believe we are ready to go on this journey. I do want to eventually do some work to this boat. I feel like it's still a little bit too much of a motorboat, even if it was powered by us. Yeah. I'd still feel a little uneasy about using it. Alright, well, let's take the dive for now. On into the water. 
Okay, we've got ourselves a zombie. We can see you in the distance there. Um, let's go ahead, activate our towel, dry off, and take off the flotation vest. I actually kind of want to try out our saber here. So we're going to go ahead and wield that thing. We've got berry bushes out the front of home. We've got a slavering biter. Okay, that I'm not going to want to try and um, play with. So let's let you get a little bit closer to us. I just want to check on the saber, see what it can do. Cut is great. Um, two hit bonus is plus one. We've got rapid striking uh, and a high blocking ability because of parry. Good. Good to see. All right. Make your way on over towards us. We miss. It gropes at us, but we dodge. Let's go ahead and move back for now. Okay, good. Got a little bit more damage. Okay, we've been grabbed. I'm going to try and break the grab. Okay, there we go. And there we go. That was a good critical. I like it. Okay, so this magical cavalry saber actually seems to be pretty damn decent. And the slathering biter hasn't noticed us yet, so we're just going to leave that be for now. Go back to wielding our um, wand and start to make our way up towards, um, well, the edge of this forest. We are going to be going through this smaller forest area here, and I'm probably going to have to turn off auto harvest. So, yeah, if you're ever looking for where that is, it is just here. You can choose trees, bushes, everything, or nothing. And in this instance, we don't want to be harvesting anything because, um, yeah, we'll get too weighed down. Even if it is going into our tool belt, right now it's not what we're focusing on. And so, we carry on, making our way to the north, past the bats, and past this little spit of land. So we're kind of going to want to try and go through that region there. So, I'm just looking on the mini-map, seeing if I can get it to kind of match up. And that we can. Getting a little bit warm with everything that we're wearing. Thankfully, this isn't a very large bit of forest that we're wandering through. Let's pop on out the other side. We should be able to see quite far once we get out there. Oh, poop. What kind? We don't know. Probably from one of the deer. We just saw one. Okay. Not seeing anything else yet, so we're just going to head pretty much directly north at this stage. Being wary of the moose, because they can still be incredibly dangerous. I think it's just off towards our east at the moment. Yep. So let's just kind of stick outside of its area. Give it the respect it deserves. And we've got ourselves a tough zombie that's making its way on over towards us. And we can see the edge of this road now, but not where it ends up. Okay, all right kind of tempted to try and slash you my friend yeah I reckon we're gonna try we do have a lot of mana though torn skin something that's still not gonna really work out for us because we're gonna be caught in it no matter what we need to be able to extend the distance of that spell <laughs> yeah all right hmm sure let's go wielder we're not very good with blades yet, but we can get better. And I'm actually going to start the run. Let this thing get a little bit closer to us. Okay. Slash. And we actually managed to stun the tough zombie with our blow. So because it stunned, and wow, it was already quite damaged. We're going to take another strike. And another. We've been grabbed. There we go. Nice cavalry saber. Beautiful. Uh, we're going to take some of the batteries from this handheld game. Let's just keep the saber out for the time being. Okay. Well, we can kind of see a little bit of what's ahead of us. What is it? It's a parking lot. Okay. A parking lot for what kind of structure? I am intrigued. Closer we go. Okay. That's a big parking lot. Zombie security guard. Oh boy. Yup. You know what? This might be a freaking research facility. Like a big, big research lab. Zombie security guards. Oh, there's a lot of them. There is a lot of them. Yup. This kind of looks like a research facility. 
We can see some blood stain on the walls in there and just all of these zombie security guards coming out towards us. Well, we know what to do with groups. But only one is coming at us for now. So you know what? Maybe we can maybe we can fight this thing. We don't have our roller blades on us right now. I should have probably tried to bring those with us. Let's see. Okay, a stun to start is always amazing. Because we should be able to get another attack in. We kind of did. We're going to move back here. Move back. Block some of the damage there. Okay, a good quick strike. Shouldn't have much life left at this stage. There we go. Hell yes. Saber for the win. And a gun. Um, I'm going to take you. Yeah, we are, we are. And let's just unload your wallet for now. Just take everything out of it for the time being. Not sure if there was anything too interesting in there. We can check under other to see if there was. Just some cash. Okay, so the rest of them, we've got three of them, four of them that are all together at the moment. Okay, if we can kind of group them as one, we can use our Wanda Fireballs. To great effect so I'm gonna do that we're actually gonna go ahead and yell I want to try and get the others attention as well okay so oh boy yeah we got a few of them there right I think the best way for us to group them is gonna be to go over towards the forest what we can do here is try to navigate man we run out of stamina fast huh okay we've got three of them together for now Oh boy, it's a little frightening. Um, okay, so. How close are you going to get? Quite close. We can get all of them in this though. Let's do it. Bam, the fireball goes off. Hell yes, a wicked explosion. We're going to go ahead and activate this thing again. Oh, that's too close and we're being grabbed. But we can kind of do it right in front of us here. Oh boy. That was some accurate spell placement. And with that, three of them drop dead. And these two are on fire. Well, that one's on fire. He might actually die because of that. So let's just back up. Yep, he died. And this one is just hanging on by a thread. So we're going to magic missile you. Oh boy, Luna. That is how we do it. Okay, how is the one doing for charges? It's doing good. It is doing bloody good. Oh, that's a gunshot. That kind of sets our ears up. Listening. Okay, let's just put that back into our inventory for now. Go ahead and stomp these bodies down. Bludgeoning them, probably with our crowbar. Uh, we'll take the guns, because they, they, they are going to be worth something. And I would like to take batteries as well. And I am going to be unloading these wallets at the same time. Unload those wallets. We've got a stylish one over here, and oh, we've got a first aid kit on one of them. Yes, thank you. There's a stylish wallet there with 34 items in. We've got another zombie security guard nearby. Okay, uh, I grabbed the first aid kit. We did. Wonderful. A stun gun. Hmm. You know what? Sure, I will take you. And we'll unload your wallet as well. All right. So, having a look at this, oh, we must have unloaded the first aid kit, because we've got a whole heap of things there. Or rather, oh no, that's just what's inside of it. I see, I see. Then we somehow picked up a condom as well. Must have been in one of the wallets. Okay, 56 $1 bills. Okay. Another zombie security guard over there. Let's get a little bit closer, Luna. This lot have been dealt with for now. This is where our roll blades would just be perfect. <laughs> it's very unfortunate that we don't have those with us. I'll just go ahead and jump over the fence for now. Okay, so look at that. We've got a whole heap of them together. And what do we have here? A scientist. Yes, apart from the jet black eyes, this zombie looks less decomposed and inhuman than most clad in a tattered lab coat it seems to have a glimmer of awareness not a human awareness but something more sinister as you watch it it moves almost like a marionette 
and I didn't read out the security guards, but a shambling human corpse wearing a grey uniform and a bulletproof vest with security emblazoned across the front. It looks like the guard was quite quick, physically fit before its death. It moves quickly and powerfully, albeit clumsily. We've got another three over here and another scientist as well, so I kind of really want to get some distance here if we can. In an ideal world, we'll try and group them up around the corner here. So I'm going to kind of stand over here and just start yelling loudly. You, we are going to have to deal with though before the others show up. And we've already got our mana. Or rather, we didn't use any. Just a few magic missiles last time. So I'll go ahead and fire, take you down with our magic missile. Quickly stomp you down. Ah. Uh, Continue after a break, yeah. <laughs> and we got our breath back. Okay. Um, I want to go ahead and empty your wallet. Nice. So we should have a whole heap of them kind of gathered in this corner now. Just from us yelling. So I hope that's the case. Alright, we could we can see Oh right, no. Looks like they're kind of grouping up here. Alright, we got four of them together. And that's a that's a pretty decent number. Let's see if we can wield this wand in time. We can. How is that gonna look for us? Let's see. Wand of Fireballs, I kind of want to get you all a little bit closer. Yes, we'll waste the time, that's fine. Why is that security so slow? Oh, it's because of the sludge. Where the hell did the... Oh, wow. How did that happen in this time? We did not see this thick sludge trail. This just appeared all of a sudden. Since we went out of the corner, something was moving incredibly fast all the way down there, just leaving this massive trail of sludge. What have we got going on there? You're down, Tobias. Yes, yeah, so you're going to take a little bit longer to reach us. We could just, just try and take you down, because you're already injured. Um, dangerously close. Stop casting. Yes, I will for now. How injured are you? Not enough. So we're going to go ahead and run back a little bit here. Ignore. Okay. Damn it. Come on, a little bit more. Ignore. We're nearly there. There we go. Okay, so the others, they really aren't as grouped together as I would like. So for you, I think we're going to try the uh, saber. Oh, no. Not the butcher's knife. My bad. Uh, we are wielding the butcher's knife, not what we want to do. Let's see if we can wear it. Okay, let's go ahead and activate the cavalry saber. Or rather, wield the cavalry saber. There we go, we got there in the end. Okay, let's let this thing get closer to us. Okay, quickly damage it. I think we're just going to stay here. We've got it stunned. We did a whole heap of damage then. You have to remember, we are good at dodging as well. Alright, we're not going to smash yet because we don't have a huge amount of... Um, Stamina. Okay, we've been grabbed. It's going to have a hard time actually getting through our armor. Because the SWAT armor is pretty damn decent. And yeah, our dodge looking really nice right now. Zombie scientists, stumble towards us, please. And we'll quickly try and dispatch you as well. Mutilating it with our cavalry saber. We take the thing down. No need for us to use anything else. We're going to take your water. We can hear something going on inside. A stylish wallet. I imagine there's more than one here. Yep. We'll go ahead and unload the lot. Oh boy, something just exploded over there. Yep. Uh, we'll do some unloading down here as well. A large wallet. Don't mind if I do. We'll just smash these bodies to pieces. Uh, no, we don't want to save and quit. <laughs> And there we go. Now, did you, any of you have anything interesting on you? Uh, quite possibly. There's some copper wire. Two are ready. No. They're the other ones. Okay, so nothing else on you for now. Let's stop running. And we actually just want to try and catch our breath back. Ouch! That was loud. Okay, well, I think we're just going to go and start wielding our wand again. Okay, we can see a zombie security guard over there to the northwest. You, I actually want to try and catch him on this bar if we can. So let's go ahead and wield our cavalry saber. If we can stop him on that, which I accidentally grabbed onto, uh, the movement is less. So he's going to be slower, trying to clamber over this thing. And we can just hold our ground. 
and take him down. Okay, Remington, I'm definitely going to take you, put you into the tool belt. I wonder if it is going to the tool belt. Yep, the only thing in the dive bag is the flotation vest. The SWAT armor is holding quite a few things though. Cash cards mostly. And our hacksaw? Why? Why would that not be in... Oh dear. You know what, I'm going to go ahead and activate our... Um... Where are you? Greater dimensional tool belt. There you are. Um, I want to stick into here... Uh... The hacksaw, if I can. It doesn't seem to want to take it, though. Fine, fine, fine. All right, so we'll leave that as it is for now, then. Um, I was going to say go back to wielding, but we've got the scientist to deal with first, and we should be able to. Scientists aren't exactly... Um, they're not the most physically capable zombies in the world. Let's just say that. A hot plate, some morphine. Okay, just in case we need it. A lighter. Yes, please. And you've got a stylish wallet that is full of quite a few things. So we'll go ahead, take lot. There's a science ID card that we find inside. Interesting. That could be quite useful. Okay, and as for the hot plate, we'll just go ahead and take the batteries out of that for now. So looking around the corner, can we see what was making all the noise? Okay, it was just these two. They are destroying this car currently, which, mind you, has been destroyed already by whatever left this crater here. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, and over here we've got a corpse of a blank body. Interesting. And more of that sludge trail, huh? Okay, well, we've got some foes coming towards us. I kind of want to try and get to the security guards before the scientist gets to us. I don't want to be fighting two security guards at the same time, but that's kind of where we're getting to here. All right. Damn. Scratch the left arm. All right. Now we need to back up because we are bleeding. Let you get closer. Take a few quick strikes. Make our way back. This magical blade in our hand ringing with energy as our head and our left arm continue to bleed slightly. Try and take down the scientist at the same time. Okay, now we need to go ahead and put that cavalry saber, or rather just drop it for now, it would seem. Stop the bleeding, fantastic. Just take a second to get our breath back. Hi, hi, wonderful. Let's see if we can go ahead and wield this in time here. Cavalry saber, um, we should be able to see you. For some reason, not able to activate you though. Ah, because you've lost your, yeah, lost the special letter you go down just fine and it looks like we've got another friend that's going to make their way to us that's all right another scientist we're gonna have to be sure to um bandage ourselves up after this but i don't think they're more than just scratches at this stage luna has gone from struggling to slaying rather quickly here all it takes is a fantastic blade because this this is fantastic. This is great cut, great bash. Um, it's a quick weapon as well for us to use. Yeah, it's very, very nice. Plus two, good old magical weapon. It is a deadly slashing weapon. Yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead, knock back some aspirin to begin with. And then we need to think about um, antiseptic bandages, or rather adhesive bandages combine two words there uh these are going to be very poor but these are just scratches so i don't think we're going to need the most amazing stuff to heal okay let's start unloading some things here there's an mp3 player we might actually take the whole mp3 player but we want to unload these wallets first of all since we found an id card and we found another very useful okay uh, the laptop computer, we'll go ahead and take the batteries from that. And then, let's see, MP3 player will take you. A bandage, some tramadol. Okay, you've also picked up a signal receiver and a solar cell. Hand loader helper. A book. We'll take it. We will take it. And we're actually just going to go ahead and read that quickly and flick through the first aid handbook as well, just so that we know that we have those in our inventory now. Lots of cash cards like a whole heap of cash cards yeah <laughs> we're gonna have to condense that eventually 
for now though, we can jump back over here and see that we have some more security guards over towards the side here. And you know what? Didn't realize we were running. So we should take that a little easier. If I can get these, well, the, the four of them together. Yep, that's looking pretty good. I'm happy with that. Let's go ahead and wield. Unfortunately, we don't seem to be able to put the saber back into our tool belt for now. So we might be close to capacity there. Yeah. Okay. Wand. We're going to go ahead and try and get you. Okay, perfect. We can get all of them. And wha-bam. Decent damage across the board there. We're going to go ahead and see if we can do that again. Okay, they're still within range of each other. And wha-bam. Fireball doing its thing. Wonderful. Okay, so we'll go ahead, put that back into our tool belt. And we will go and wield you. You were zero, I think. There we are. Okay. You've still got your designation. That's good. It might be that, yeah. It's all probably all the guns and other things that we're storing in there that are taking up a little bit more space, you know? So let's just have that breather. We can probably have a look at um, getting a scabbard eventually. Because I think Luna's starting to quite like this weapon. Alright, what do we got? Autobiography of a mountain man and a fast acting sedative. Sure. Okay, what about your wallet though? Nothing? Alright. What about over here? Kind of the same deal. No wallets. You? Uh... LED tattoo CBM installation data. A precise step-by-step -step instruction and other required data for installation of the LED tattoo CBM. I kind of like that this is a thing now. Nice. Neat. Uh, would that be worth anything? Possibly. It's not very heavy. Let's take it. Who knows what the hell it is, Luna? We'll take a lighter as well, because we can. And you didn't have anything else on you. You, however, have a wallet, so we're going to go ahead and take your cash. Over here, we've got three security guards. Okay, so if I could get them all together, I'd be willing to use a fire. Even two could still be worth it. Oh, you know what? We've got our bracer. It's got a charge. Okay, so we will let them get a little bit closer to us. Okay, closer still. Right, I'm just going to start running to back up a little bit here. I think that's it. Let's go ahead and activate it. Okay, yeah, they're, oh, they're definitely within range. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Nice! Okay, so a bolt of lightning extends out from our bracer and uh, crackles as it hits the two security guards in front of us. Let's start running back. We can still cast magic, and I'm not sure why. Oh, we need our hands free. Okay, good. Okay, I was like, what? We shouldn't be able to do that. Um, let's wield our wand, drop the saber on the ground for now, and we're just going to finish them off with magic missile because they are relatively weak already. We'll fire through to you. Don't know why we're doing the one in the back first, but here we are. Ignore. Okay, we got there. Let's go ahead and put this wand back away, and we will, well, wield you if we can. Excellent. What have you got? An extinguisher and a wallet. We will take the lot, thank you. That's a lot of stuff in that one. 41 items. Yeah. Stylish wallet, indeed. I wonder if we could use our own wallet? Yeah, maybe we should take the stylish wallet and put some things in that. Might be an option. We'll look at doing that eventually. But uh, looking at this place here, yep, it is a research facility. And I really want to get on top of this thing, just so we can catch the sight of everything else in the area. But this place, oh my god, this place has a lot of resources, but it's also incredibly dangerous. Um, from Dusk's time at uh, a research facility, we know that it can be incredibly dangerous. And I've really got to stop running here. I kind of want to try and see if we can catch this one over here on the vehicle. If we can, and we can, wonderful. He's going to be so slow on this. So we should be able to slash all day before he gets to do anything at all. We blocked his attack with our blades, and just like that, we have another dead one. A dead one that's properly dead now. We'll unload your wallet. We've seen another security guard. Okay, let's use this little motorcycle as uh, bait for this thing. 
Come on, clamber on over. We'll start slashing at you. These quick strikes, taking you down without too much trouble. And we've got a scientist. Uh, we want the items on the ground. The large wallet. Okay. Move around. You are a bit smarter. You, I don't think we're going to be able to get. Nope. Alright, well, we'll just fight you then. Our cutting skill has increased to two. There we go. Getting better, Luna. And we did get you there for a second. Oh, we didn't need much to finish you off. Alright. Let's quickly dispatch those bodies. A screwdriver set. I think we already have one. We're going to take the tramadol. And, um, radio car box. Okay. It's a radio controlled car. Potentially useful. But not so useful to us right this second. We'll just take the wallet. Find another science ID card inside. It's a good day for us, Luna. A very good day. We aren't that injured. We're still feeling pretty fresh, all things considered. It is the morning, and we have this research facility in front of us. What this place is going to mean for us, I'm not sure, but we can see... Oh boy. A caustic soldier up to the north. Let's go have a little bit of a look and see what we've got up here. A lot of security guards, which would be great to have them all in a row. And this one here, a caustic soldier. This zombie wears what appears to have been a soldier's uniform and armor. Now a series of cracked and melted plates that have fused to its skin and its thickened hide. Its face and arms blister with strange mutated tubes that pulse and drip with acid. That sounds rather horrible. And you know what? I am all about cliffhangers, but I think I want to try and see if we can deal with this group before the end of the episode. And oh boy, holy crap. Yeah, no, that's a lot. That is a lot. And it looks like we've just pulled some scientists to start with, so we can actually, we can work with that for now. We can fight scientists. They're gonna be relatively slow, relatively weak. Yeah, we can, we can, make this work. Taking that super glue as well. Hello there. All right. More super glue and some Prussian blue. Hmm. Could be useful. We'll keep it by. Another scientist. Okay. Some very quick strikes now. Doing what we needed to. The principles of effective communication. That could be rather helpful. The energy cola as well. So we'll take all of that, thank you. And we'll quickly see if we can flick through both of those books, just so that we know what's in them. And then wall. We can't climb you, can we? No. So what I would want to try and do is pull as many of those zombies to us as possible. And I think the best way we can do that is just by getting a little bit closer. I really don't want to drop the saber here. So what we might end up doing is just dropping the weapons for now. I think if I drop off just the Remington, that should probably be enough. Yep. There we go. Okay, let's peek around the corner, see what we got. All right, so we got all of their attention. If we go around the corner there, we can draw down all of them, bar the Caustic Soldier and a few others. Okay, that I'm all right with. I'm gonna let them get a little bit closer to us, and then we're gonna start to run. And then start to walk. Okay, all right, getting them to pull in. A little bit closer, team, a little bit closer. Closer together, that is. Okay, I think we can work with that. It's a bit more of a spread than I want. Just a bit closer, that's it, that's it. Okay, all right, let's try this thing. <sighs> We're going to activate the wand. Okay, or we can nearly get all of them. That's still a really decent amount of damage. We're going to start running a little bit further back. Um, activating the wand yet again. Okay, it's right on us at the stage. Still missing that one at the back. That's right. Bam! And we actually do set something on fire. Prescription stimulant. No! <laughs> um, it was probably something in the flask that set that off. Uh, this one at the back is completely fresh, so we'll just start... Firing some magic missiles into it. Weaken it up if we can. 
we've still got a lot of mana left, so we can afford to do it. And just like that, we took down a whole security team of these dead creatures. And with the scientist stumbling towards us, we're going to go ahead and wield our cavalry saber. And take the thing down. And then knowing that there's a strong chance that this group are going to get back up, we need to dispatch them. As we can see, another specialist soldier, I think, up towards the northeast. I want to quickly go through these bodies, grab what's useful, first aid kits most certainly being one of them, and then unloading these wallets as we go past each of them. Uh, Two-way radio, useful. Tramadol, we'll take that. A small LCD screen, huh? Right, we'll take that, and we'll take the batteries from this radio. We've got an Uzi down here, or rather a USP, my bad. Um, what else we got? Just some wallets. Okay, unload each of those. And looking at you, just a wallet again. Okay, we're going to catch our breath here. We're going to stop running. And with that, we're going to stand next to the fire and just enjoy it. We've got a lot of dead around us, but we stopped seeing them how we did before as tragic people. No, we are seeing them now as the enemy that they are. The dead. The walking dead. And there's a lot of them here. A whole heap. We've killed probably more today than we have across most of the series. It's a lot of bodies returned to stillness. And standing here, looking at that fire, a result of this wand transfixed. Luna will take a moment to reflect. And that is where we're going to be leaving her for today. If you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know if you enjoyed the show. For now, I have been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned.